What's going on, Marvel fans? My name is Ben, and welcome to Sci-Fi Wednesdays. Now, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time now. This is the perfect month to do it in. I want to go ahead and build a wearable arc reactor based on Tony Stark's Mark IV reactor that he had, I believe, in Iron Man 2. This is going to be really, really fun, guys, because I've never done something like this. And it's specifically to go ahead and be able to wear this there to see Avengers Endgame. Now, there are lots of different arc reactors out there, and we have decided to go ahead and do the Mark IV arc reactor. It's always been my one of my favorites. I like the triangular shapes, very clean, very neat. So we actually have a template here that we downloaded off the internet from a website called thewoodlandelf.com. We also have this bottle here, which is going to actually house some of our electronics, and it's going to give this a little bit of depth. So that's also very, very handy to have. Now we're going to need to go ahead and cut out each of these shapes. And so I have some plastic lids that I just had off some takeout containers. We can use those to go ahead and trace out these shapes and cut them into plastic so that they're a little more durable and they'll do a better job of blocking light. And yes, we're going to be putting some LED strips inside the container. And these are blue LEDs with a battery pack attached that we can just go ahead and somehow work into a strap. This is a strap I'm hoping to use for, you know, actually wearing this thing. We're just going to see what we can do to piece this all together. So we're going to start out pretty simple, guys, and we want to go ahead and cut out the center section of these plastic lids so that we can start tracing and getting these things prepared. I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors here. And we're just going to cut out the very edge and lip on both of these plastic lids. Now, this is something that is going to be more focused on wearing than displaying. This isn't really meant to be put on a desk or something and have it be kind of ooh and odd over. No, 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 this is actually to wear for maybe a costume or in my case, I'm gonna to try to wear it to uh, midnight showing for Avengers Endgame. But you could also use it if you just kind of felt like maybe dressing up like going to a convention or something and you didn't really wanna go full bore. Uh, you could put this on and you would have a tiny bit of cosplay. So it's kind of neat to go ahead and play around. Plus, I love building things and this is very much just kind of building things and just flying by the seat of my pants, kind of just giving it a shot, you know? So as you can see, both of these lids are going to fit perfectly on these designs. So the next thing we have to do, let's go ahead and cut them out. Now, I, what I want to do first, though, is I'm going to use my compass cutter and we are going to cut out and make this a complete circle based on the size here on the template. To do that, we're going to have to go ahead and find the center point. Now, much like I did for some of my decals and my painted markings that I had on my A6M3, we're going to do the exact same thing here, and we're going to find the center point of this circle. Now, to do that, I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to draw a box around that square. And that's going to give us a corner-to-corner -corner line that we can go ahead and draw. And where that line intersects in the center, that's the middle. So first off, let's go ahead and draw that box around here. And then we're going to take corner to corner. Let's go ahead and connect the dots. So now we can take our compass cutter and I can take that one little point there and place it right in the center. And then we can get our dimensions here. We can lock that down and just get everything nice and secure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to begin just by cutting out the center part of each of these lids so that we can then trace out and cut out each of these designs. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cue a time lapse here because there's a lot of little bits and pieces to cut and it's gonna take some time to get through it. So let's go ahead and just jump into the time lapse and let's go ahead and get some parts and pieces ready to see what we can do. So our lids are cut out and now we have a perfectly flat and very round piece of plastic that we can use then to cut out the rest of the shapes. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to use a very, very, very sharp exacto knife, brand new blade. And I'm just going to by hand, I'm going to trace the inside kind of half moon shape right here. 
just going to go ahead and start cutting these out. And remember, this is going to be underneath the shirt, so you're not really going to be able to see a lot of the fine details. You're just going to want that backlight and that shape and design kind of blocking out certain parts of the light. So let's go ahead and cut out the rest of these circles and get the rest of these shapes all squared away. So our very first shape is cut out. Let's go ahead and clean up the edges just a little bit right here. Make sure that this is as clean and as crisp as possible. We have to do that exact same process to the other side. And that bottom layer is actually very, very complicated. So there's a lot of different lines, different cuts, different parts and pieces. So we have the first one done, but that's the easiest. Now we have to do the exact same thing. On the harder one so again i'm just going to grab my lid here my plastic lid we're going to use our compass hole cutter we're going to cut out that center section and then we'll be able to come back and then we're going to by hand go ahead and start cutting out each of these squares to expose that entire shape Alright guys, here we are. We have both of our parts cut out. So you can see, well, they look pretty cool, I gotta admit. But now, of course, we need to go ahead and get them painted. Because, well, they can't be clear. We want them to block light, not go ahead and transmit light through them. So I'm going to use some flat black by Tamiya. We're just going to basically quick airbrush both of these so that they are nice and blacked out. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves our airbrush and get these things painted up. Let's do it. All right, we are painted. As you can see, that actually really, really lets you see the rest of the pieces. So that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and put those aside, though, to dry because we're going to shift over now to the actual container for the LEDs. I think that's a really important thing to do because we got to go ahead and get that figured out. Now, I've got this bottle here. It's pretty stiff plastic, and we're going to go ahead and just cut in to about about here so to give us enough space to run some leds around now the leds themselves are not too thick so we should be able to fit at least two strands on the inside so that shouldn't be too bad now let's go ahead and just start cutting this because let's see right about maybe here i think that should be pretty decent if we just go ahead and start cutting through here we're going to cut off the bottom part of this container and I think that should be stable enough to go ahead and hold some weight to it. So let's go ahead and just slice this open and get this bottom part removed. So as you can see, we have the bottom of our bottle now, and that's actually pretty decent looking, but we need to go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. And to do that, I'm gonna be using another X-Acto knife. This time though, I'm going to actually be pressing it down against my paint cup 
and holding the blade against the actual object. I'll be rotating the object to go ahead and not only kind of score the plastic, but also eventually cut right through. And this is a really nice technique to use because it keeps that blade perfectly straight, or at least close to perfectly straight. As long as we have equal pressure both down and then in against the blade, we should be able to rotate that and get a very clean cut. There we go, we have the bottom section. This is gonna be what houses our LEDs. And then we have this ring right here, which we'll use a little bit later. And I'll show you that when we get there. So now we have to go ahead and clean up some of our edges just to make sure they're nice and smooth. I've got some 240 grit sandpaper. I can just go ahead and rub this against, go ahead and clean up the edges and smooth everything out. Make sure there's no burrs or anything that might cut us. Now, I actually mentioned that little strip that we cut off the top here. I've actually glued it on the inside to add a little bit more surface area to our top, just so that when we glue everything down, we'll have a bit more room. This is about the shape. As you can see, it just fits right down on top of that. Without that lip, it kind of falls through. So we need that lip inside. Now for wearing this, we are gonna to need to go ahead and rig up some form of a strap. And I've got this backpack strap here that I picked up off of Amazon really, really cheap. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to create something kind of like a belt loop. So we're gonna measure out about where we want this. And I'm gonna go right in the middle here using my Sharpie. Let's go ahead and draw out about the size or the width of this actual belt. So something like that. Now let's go ahead and just connect those dots and then we'll be able to kind of see about what distance we need to go ahead and keep unglued. So right about there. So that's perfect. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and create basically a belt loop that you would have maybe on a pair of jeans or something. And to do that, I think we're going to use some plastic card. So I've got my strip of plastic here. Let's go ahead and get a ruler and an exacto blade. And let's go ahead and just cut this. We're creating basically a loop for our belt to go through. And then that belt's going to go under our arms and right around our chest. And then we can just cinch it down and we can zip tie the battery pack to the other end of it so that it doesn't kind of hang. And then in theory, we should be able to cinch everything down, flip that on, and it should glow really, really nicely underneath a shirt. So that's my hope. Right, everybody so we took the liberty of actually stringing in the LEDs as well now they're not stuck down they're just kind of placed in there to see how much I could fit in and we've got a good amount in there I've got the batteries here in the battery pack let's flip her on see what she looks like there we go very nice very blue very bright that's awesome so let's go ahead and also do a little bit of a test fit here of the diffusing paper and also just the overall design so the paper is nothing special it's just basically paper out of a printer or something like that. So we're gonna use that and in a circular form, drop that right down on top there. Then we're gonna go ahead and place the top and bottom designs, place that on top of that, and let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll get a general idea of what it looks like. There it is, very cool. So that's about what I'm going for. It'll be a little different in the final product because I might diffuse certain areas a little bit more than other areas to get some different color variations of the blue. But overall, that's what I'm going for. So this should be lightweight, it should be very wearable, and I should be able to uh, use this when I go and I watch Avengers Endgame. So it should be fun, guys. Until next week, go out, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, get yourself hyped for the movie, and we'll see you back here next week for the conclusion of the Mark IV Arc Reactor here on Sci-Fi Wednesdays. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.